we're going to do a quick walk around of the 2016 Legend X16. Picked this up earlier this year up in Cochrane, Ontario. Only had 30 hours on the engine. Boat's in really good shape. Very happy with it. Got the rock guard here up front. Nice feature for gravel roads and debris from when you're trailer in the boat. Got a spare tire here. Got the Mercury 60 command thrust. It's a 60 horse with a 90 horsepower lower unit. Got the stainless Solus prop. Some specs for you. Got the galvanized trailer with the side bunks. LED lights on the trailer. Nice deep hull on it, especially for a 16 and a half foot. Take the cover off, now we'll have a look at the inside. Got your bow cushions, make it comfortable when you're out cruising with the family. Got the trolling motor bracket for my Minn Kota Tarova. There it is, the Minn Kota Tarova 50 with iPilot. Got the foot pedal and the remote for it. Got the Bimini top here. Also has the rest of the sides and the back for a full enclosure. When the weather gets bad, keep you nice and dry and warm. Console. Get in the boat and check that out. Got all your gauges here. RPM, speed, fuel, got the radio there, got the bracket for my Humminbird Helix 7. Yeah, switches for your live wells, your bilge pump, the LED lights for at night. Nice glove box, which also acts as a cooler. You can put ice in it and it'll drain out after. You can see the speakers and the LED lights down there. There's for your ski pylon. Also got a couple holes for put your chairs back here for 
fishing. I like this feature, the casting deck folds up. Another two seats back here, comfortable for cruising. Side storage here. More lighting, storage, there's your battery and the uh, battery switch. Open this up and head to the front of the boat. Like I said before, you got your bow cushions and you got these cushioned edges here for your back, cup holders there. Got another light up here and storage in the front. Got the plug-in for your trolling motor. Take these bow cushions out when you're fishing. Got a nice big casting deck up front. Got a nice big live well with bait bucket. Take the divider out and make it bigger. You can also take the bait bucket out as well. More storage up here and your battery for the trolling motor. Got your anchor in there. And when you're ready to cruise, you just throw the cushions back in. There you go, so you can see it's well designed for a 16 and a half foot boat. There's your swim platform with the ladder. You can get in and out easily. There's your fuel tank. Boat has an automatic bilge pump. All right, so um, now we get to the part where uh, I'm gonna tell you a bit about what I think about this boat. So I picked it up earlier this summer. Yeah, I guess at the start of the summer. And um, I put a lot of hours on it, so I got a pretty good idea. And really, unfortunately, I have not too much to nitpick with it for only a 16 and a half foot. I'm actually blown away by how well it handles. I've been in some pretty big chop with it and it handled it no problem. It was really good. I like all the features it has. You know, I get that versatility of family boat and fishing. I'd highly recommend this boat for someone looking for a fish and ski boat. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, just uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, you like the content, you know, hit that subscribe button and uh, tune in for more videos. I really appreciate the support, you know, trying to build the channel. So, um, you know, help me do it. Yeah.